So imagine that you're watching a YouTube video or a movie on your phone but you wouldn't mind to watch it on the big screen but then suddenly you remember having AirPlay on your iDevice or DLNA on your Android device and with a tap of a button it's playing. Okay, what exactly is AirPlay or DLNA? Think of them as protocols that are used to stream images, audio and video from one device to the next. To set this up, you will need a device that will act as the receiver and another device to play the content. If you're watching this video, chances are you already have all that you need. For AirPlay, you will need an iDevice and for the receiver, you could use a Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Smart TV, any laptop slash desktop or even the device that's in your hands right now. If you have a PS3, there is another route that you have to take for both jailbroken and un-jailbroken users find the links below. Now that you've got that sorted, on your iDevice, scroll up from the bottom to access the control center, then locate the AirPlay button. For pre-iOS 7, double tap the home button and slide from left to right twice. I'm gonna be connecting to XPMC on my laptop. Open up YouTube for example and go into any video. Also note the AirPlay icon, et voila. For DLNA, you will need an Android device, an app called Allcast, and a receiver. The list is not exhaustive. You could use an, a Raspberry Pi, a Live CD, a Shoe, Apple TV, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Android TV sticks, a jailbroken eye device, and a Roku player. So I'm gonna be using an Xbox for this setup. Open up the video file that you wanna watch, choose Allcast, and you're set. Okay, so as you can see, there's so many different ways to set up a seamless home theater setup. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, you know what to do. But if you don't, tag a friend who might not know this and send it to them. Okay, first of all, when looking at advanced techniques to mobile typing, it all comes down to the little things that can really 